moving on to the next topic it is about fundamental counting principle now fundamental counting principle is basically like a sample space where you can find the total possibilities of a particular situation now we have real world problems they are very interesting now the first problem is about a video game that lets you decorate a bedroom using one choice from each category now you can decorate the bedroom based on the paint color or the comforter size, sheet set, throw, uh, throw a rug over here, or the lamp, or wall hangings. Now, over here, there are so many paint colors. Imagine there is red, blue, green, yellow, violet, and it goes on about eight colors, okay? And there are comforter size. Imagine there's a size one, two, three, four, five, and sorry, this is three and six. Same way, there are sheet sizes. Imagine one, two, three, and so on. Similarly, you get the point, right? There are so many different choices. Now, the total possibility be, can be so many because imagine I chose red as the color. Then I chose this particular option, this. Okay, that's fine. All these are selected. Then another option could be red. The option over here can be two and then all the same, but that is a separate option then with blue two three there are so many possibilities it's amazing but how can you easily solve it it's very simple the fundamental counting principle states that if you just multiply all the different categories you will get the answer let's try that let's oh that was uh, anyways let's multiply all this over here six eight six eight multiplied by five three five and the answer you get 28,800 is the total possibilities. These many ways are there to decorate the bedroom over here. Same way you can try the other problem and check your answers. This is about different meal combination. Now over here, let's see. On a website showcasing outdoor patio plants, there are four types of stone, three types of edging, five dining sets, six grills. So it's again all these different categories. How do we solve? Just multiply them together, you'll get the answer. Same way over here. Please go through this, solve by yourself, and then try. So, and over here we have a spinner is shown, which is used in a board game. If spinner is spun four times, how many different possible outcomes are there? So let's think about it. There are six possibilities in this particular spinner. You spin once, there are six possibilities for, for an answer. Then you're going to spin again. You need to keep on multiplying. So if you spin two times, there'll be total 36 possibilities. Then if you do it again, times six, then times six. It'll be six to the power of four, so it'll be one, two, 1,296 different possible outcomes. This is how we can easily solve them. Please do solve it by yourself and then check the answers over here.